How's it going guys? Welcome back. It is March 5th. Um, super, super excited um, to show you this video, but first of all, I hope you're all having a good week. It is Tuesday, at least it is for me right now. Um, so hope you're having a great start to your week. Um, I am, once again, I am super, super excited for tonight. Um, just to cut to the chase here, guys. Um, I use this truck all the time for, you know, just regular stuff during, during the winter time, but in the summertime, it gets a lot of kind of abuse is for lack of a better term, you know, for sled pulling and for drag racing and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, that's just, while also that abuses the truck and as far as reliability on the truck, as far as being concerned about uh, being able to drive to work the next day, it's also just a real pain in the butt. I mean, you know, it, it takes quite a bit of work to go from um, sled pulling ready to roadworthy, right? Um, you know, you got to do suspension stops and um, sled stops and lower all, you know, lower your tire pressure, lower the front end of the ground, all that kind of different stuff, you know? And so even by the time that I've got it loaded on the trailer, loaded off the trailer, done all that kind of stuff, um, pulled, put it back on the trailer, brought it home. You know, it's already 11 o'clock. It takes another 45 minutes to an hour to make sure it's roadworthy. And that's assuming that it's actually still running, which, um, you know, it never actually broke for me. It did a really good job. Um, but even so, you know, it was just, it was time for a different vehicle. Plus not even talking about the salt and all that kind of stuff right now, you know? Um, but either way, it was just time for something a little bit different. So you can kind of see it over my shoulder a little bit. We have a new vehicle to introduce here. Um, I am super excited to have it. Basically, it's just gonna be a nice, quiet, clean vehicle. At least that's what I'm gonna say. We'll see how it goes. But without further ado, here it is. Here it is guys, it's a 2011 BMW 328 XI, it's an all-wheel drive car, it is super smooth, super quiet, um, just an awesomely fun car to drive. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever driven a BMW, they are fantastic and I absolutely love this car already. So um, honestly, I'm not planning to do a whole lot with it, so don't worry, this is not going to turn into a BMW channel. It is going to get a few little tasteful mods here and there kind of thing, more on the exterior, just kind of blacking out the emblems, blacking out the reflectors you know, the grill, X, Y, Z, maybe hopefully get some tin on it because it is a fishbowl right now. Um, but essentially guys, this car is here for me to get me um, point A to point B, go to church on Sunday with, with my wife, you know, that kind of thing. And essentially to make this the fun vehicle, right? So, I mean, it's still a fully functioning truck and I plan to keep it that way. I'm still gonna be able to take it out of the farm, haul stuff with it, that kind of thing. But essentially this car is here so that I can use this truck to do whatever I want to with and not have to worry about it reliability wise. You know, as far as sled pulling, as far as drag racing, whatever I want to do, um, I won't have to worry about this truck getting me to work on Monday. So honestly, guys, this kind of opens the book on the LB7s. You know, everything right now has been a, hey, I've got to get this done in a day or two kind of thing or else I'm not going to be able to get to work, you know, and be able to make money and do whatever else I need to be able to do. Um, you know, so now if as far as this truck needs to be down for a couple of days, it needs to be down for a week while I'm, you know, sandblasting the frame. You know, wire wheel in the frame to redo that you know kind of thing that is going to be a whole lot better i'm actually really excited to do that kind of stuff it also opens the door for some engine performance stuff right so you know this is a stock or essentially stock injector um stock turbo truck um so you know and it's doing great for what it is you know it's a it's a high 500s truck um it's it's kind of it's race proven 550 it's dyno proven 565 you know so um it's kind of right up in there it's definitely maxing out the the the, the fuel in the air not the fuel just the air actually um there is all kinds of fuel um in this truck for some reason so anyway um basically so the next real big mod that should be done on this truck if it were ever to get one would be a new turbo now um there's plenty of different routes you can go that way. I would love to just do a drop in and keep it nice and clean. Um, obviously, long term, an S400 would be great. You know, twisted pedestal with a street intake from Wagglers, all that kind of stuff. We'll see if it ever gets there, you know. Uh, but as far as drop ins go, I would love to get a drop in. Um, not sure. I'm looking kind of between a couple different companies right now. I'm not sure when that'll happen, if it will. Um, but that will definitely be next um, if it's going to get something because honestly, that's the limiter right now. You know, we've talked about everything on all throughout this channel as far as what limits these trucks in stock form. And it is 100% the turbo. If you've already got a, a built trans, you've already got a lift pump, you've already got big tuning, you know, and you've got all the supporting mods, your air is the first thing to be limited. So that's where we got to go. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think of that. Let me know what to think of the car and what you would want to see as a drop-in turbo on this truck. Have a good night, guys.